Okay, another video on data pump utility in Oracle. It is a utility that is basically used to export and import data in several ways and it is an efficient and fast method just to do that. To use a data pump you'll have to use a directory object and in one of the last videos we learned how to create directory object, to, how to create a directory object and how to point it to an operating system folder. All files that are created during export and import are stored in the folder to which this directory object points. The object that you choose to use data pump exports or imports. These files include one or more dump files that actually hold exported data which can then be imported back to same schema or to a different schema or even to a different database. So in the last video, one of the last videos we learned how to export just one table from one schema as a dump file to an operating system folder and then we learned how to import the table back into the same schema. Today we'll learn how to export all data from one schema as a dump file using directory object into an operating system folder and then we'll import one or more tables one or more objects into a different schema. So we know that there is a data dictionary view called we know that there is a data dictionary view called all underscore directories. Okay. It will give you important information about directory objects, uh, the names of the directory objects that are available in your database. Also you can use this column to find out the location of the folder to which the directory object points and owner is always this, uh, sys. Sys is the owner of all directory objects. So let's say select directory underscore name from all underscore directories and this is the directory object that we created in, in the last video and we can also tell the operating system folder to which this directory object points. We can say select this column name directory underscore path underscore path from all underscore directories. So this is the path for this directory object. C this is a folder on C drive. C backslash dump. If I go to host operating system and I go to this folder dump, you'll see that at the moment it does not have anything. I have deleted everything that was in there. So we'll go to go back to SQL plus program and we'll say show user. User is HR. We'll connect as sys show user user is sys and we'll create a a user user moon identified by light as you know we're creating a new user the name of the user is moon and the password is light so we'll grant moon some privileges to moon We'll say grant create table to moon grant table to moon and we'll say alter user moon quota 10m on users which is a table space alter user moon quota 10m on system which is also a table space. We'll have to grant moon read and write privileges on our directory object. So we'll say grant read write on on directory and test dir was the directory object and we'll say grant read write on grant read comma write on directory test dir to moon okay so the user moon has been created uh, user has uh, some quota on 
two table spaces system and users it can connect to the database it can create tables we also have another user another schema HR and the password is also HR and this schema has got a number of tables and number of objects select all from catalog and it has countries departments department sequence which is a sequence employees the table and so on and so forth so we want to export all objects from this schema as a dump file to an operating system folder called uh, c backslash dump and then we'll import at least one or two tables from this schema from that dump file to another user called moon so we'll go back to host operating system HR has got uh, DBA privileges in uh, in my database so we'll say exp DP user is HR password is HR directory is test dir dump file would be exp.dmp and log file would be exp.log okay we are exporting whole schema in last video we learned how to export just one table in that case there was another parameter called tables is equal to one one was the name of the table uh, if you haven't seen the last video go back to YouTube or to my website and you can watch that video so I'll press enter assuming there's no typo graphical mistake in it and it should work you'll see a number of things happening it will take some time okay the export job has been successful completed at this point in time if I go back to CD if I go back to the dump folder and I say DIR you'll see that there is a dump file called exp.dmp and there's a log file as well so all the data that was in this schema called HR is in this file here so we'll use this file again to import the data into a at least one or two tables into a different schema and I'll show you how to do that so instead of exp DP will say IMP DP this is the directory this is the dump file and this is the uh, log file we'll change the name of the log file IMP.log and we'll say remap underscore a schema is equal to HR colon moon okay so this is telling the utility that we want to import from this schema to this schema and we'll say we'll also say tables we don't want to import all objects we'll say tables is equal to this is a table called employees and then there's a table called departments okay and we'll run this we'll go back to SQL plus and we'll we'll connect as moon the password was light and we'll say select all from catalog select all from get and you have two tables you can select all from departments and all the data is here that's how you export data from one schema to another schema you can use all of the data from one schema to another schema or you can import selected tables you can export selected tables selected objects thank you very much